But just a little bit of good news anyways. Uh, a lot of folks very fearful that the Thanksgiving holiday, the long weekend, uh, would wind up becoming a super spreader event and seeing, you know, really maybe double the number of cases we had been seeing. But two weeks after the holiday, uh, the numbers really aren't bearing that out. Frankly, anticipated that we could be in the four, five, six thousand cases a day range, uh, and we haven't been there. We're still seeing a lot of cases, uh, you know, up, uh, in the two thousands. We certainly want to be lower than that. But the fact that we haven't seen a significant spike uh, is 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 definitely a good sign. Yeah, we'll take uh, the good news where we can get it, right? Officials, they are crediting increased testing to those uh, decreased or you know, not as high as expected numbers, also smaller celebrations. Uh, but we're not out of the woods yet, according to those officials. And today we are expected to hit a very grim milestone, as you guys had mentioned, 1,000. COVID-19 related deaths, that number expected to be uh, reached today. Also, ICUs all across the state, right around 90% full. So public health experts are hoping that Utahns continue to pay heed to their warnings, not gather with folks who don't live with you or under the same roof, and also to keep whatever gatherings you have small, uh, especially as we enter this, uh, the, really the meat of the holiday season. We've got Hanukkah, Christmas, New Year's coming up, just to be, be aware. And, uh, you know, until this vaccine becomes widely circulated, we still need to, need to take these precautions. For now, we're live in Salt Lake City. Scott McCain, Fox 13 News, Utah.